Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you again for watching my video. So I'm having some issues with my laptop speaker. Uh, each time when I play something, it comes out with this annoying cracking sound and some uh, distortion as well. Uh, I believe the speakers are faulty, especially on the uh, right side of the speaker. So I will be attempting to replace them with a new pair. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, successfully replace them so the first thing I'm going to need to do is to remove the uh, back panel and just for your information this is a HP Pavilion 14 inch laptop it comes with a i5 6 gen Intel processor and it's also preloaded with uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM which I have previously upgraded to 8 gigabytes So it's been a while, probably about six to seven years I've been using this uh, laptop. And finally, the back panel is removed and this is how it looks like on the internal side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to remove the battery. This is to avoid from any short circuit to uh, any other part of the uh, components, especially the motherboard. So the battery is being held down by four screws and just like that the battery is out so as you can see from here this is where the speakers are currently located left and right which is being screwed down underneath of the uh, hinges for the laptop screen so each side consists of three screws but the funny thing is that uh, in order to, for me to access to the speakers i will need to remove a lot of the major components before i get access into that area and that's the funny thing about this laptop so first thing I'm gonna do is to remove the heatsink for the processor and the GPU and also uh, the fan so that I have more uh, access to other parts of the area and then I will proceed by removing the Wi-Fi antenna and I'll continue removing more screws from the motherboard Now I will proceed by removing the flex cable for the touchpad and also for the uh, SSDs and other flex cable which I'm not sure what they are for so I think in total there's about 4 flexible cables there to be removed Now I'll be removing the uh, Wi-Fi card which is being held down by just a screw and finally I'll be able to remove the fan as well Completely. So the motherboard, the final flex cable is being held on by two up and upper and lower. One which is for the power supply and the other is for the screen, which is uh, really, really tricky. So um, I will start by remo removing the right side of the speaker. And uh, currently I'm removing the cables that's being held down by some clips okay so this is how the original speakers look like and you can tell that this speaker here is faulty because there's punctured holes around the speaker just to give an overview of the old and the new speaker so assembling back is basically the same as how you remove it but just the opposite side of it very straightforward and I will skip this part
So I've also decided to upgrade my RAM. Uh, currently it's uh, 8, gig 8 GB of RAM and I will be replacing them with a uh, Kingston HyperX uh, Impact. So each of it, each of the cars is uh, 8 GB of RAM so this will give me a total of 16 GB. Okay guys, the moment of truth. I'm, I'm hoping that the laptop will boot up. Of course I'm going to skip some part here to speed up things and yes, I'm getting the HP logo. So it should be able to boot into Windows. So as you know, printers are cheap, right? So desktop is cheap. So I'm hoping to be able to boot Contributing to nearly 60 deaths around the country since January.